welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today we're going to make some reusable disinfectant wipes for the kitchen or anywhere in your house. So I am completely guilty. I love cleaning wipes. I was buying them and spending tons of money on them. They smell good. They keep the house clean. You want to make sure everything is really clean. But we have been crunching the budget and really stripping down things that we buy and trying to make more and more of our own products. Um, so I am not buying any kitchen wipes whatsoever. The disinfectant wipes, I stopped buying them a little while ago and we have been using our own, it's a DIY. These, there are millions of recipes out there for this kind of thing. And, but vinegar is an all natural cleaner. It works really well. I don't love the scent of it. So I like to use a little bit of essential oils with it, but you don't have to. So we're gonna make these today, just real simple. Stuff that you should have right in your house, most of it. I'm just gonna use a big jar. You want something with a big enough mouth so you can get your hand in there really easy. So just an empty jar, and I would say at least a quart, maybe bigger, depending on how often you want to refill it. So I've got a small, um, really wide mouth jar here. And then we're gonna use some vinegar, some Adam's, uh, Castile soap. You can use any Castile soap you have. I just really like this one and it's really affordable and it's from a little handmade company and I like that. So support in America whenever we can. And I'm also going to use a little bit of lemon essential oil, but there are tons of different oils you could use for different scents. You could use orange, you could use uh, tea tree, you could use any of those oils on guard any of them that do that cleaning stuff, you know, any kind of citrus oils would work really well in this. Or if you don't want any oils and you don't care about the scent, you can skip that part totally. So let's go ahead and get started. This is super simple and easy. Okay, so you can use pretty much any kind of cloth you like. If you have microfiber cloths, those work good. Um, I'm using some just old ratty um, washcloths that have bleach spots and stains or whatever that's you know that's good enough to clean with for me and uh, you can do this a bunch of different ways we're just gonna put all our rags in this jar some people like to roll them up so they look fancy and or you can even take them and roll them you know so when you pull one the next one starts to come out I, I don't do that I'm not that worried about what it looks like I just chuck them in the jar so we're just gonna do that we just <laughs> stick them right in there I don't care what it looks like and you know whatever you can fit in there uh, flannel ripped up flannel works really well for cleaning as well so we are just stuffing these in there in our jar and this is I think this is close to half a gallon it's pretty wide um, more than a quart but I'm just gonna stuff those in there like so and then I can just reach in. You would just want to make sure your jar has big enough so you can get your hand in there really easy. So that is the only thing. And then I'm going to take um, my just white vinegar. Any white vinegar will work. A lot of, most of the time I have Walmart vinegar that works perfectly. I use the 5% acidity. I know there's a lot of stuff going around about the 4% acidity for canners saying that it won't work, but there are ways around that too if you happen to accidentally have bought it but this would work so I use the 5% for this all the time I'm gonna put two cups right in here just two cups of vinegar pour it right in Woohoo! and your house if you use essential oils your house is not going to smell like vinegar which is great and then I'm going to put two cups of water I like to add Castile soap to this just a little bit. We want to make sure it's clean and really good. And um, just, I don't know, about a tablespoon. I just dump a little bit in, not too much. Tablespoon, maybe two. Doesn't have to be too much. 
And then I'm just gonna take a little spoon and kind of mix that around in the water so it's not clumpy in there. And you could do this in the jar first and then stuff your rags in, or I stuff the rags in and then pour everything over the top. Either way, it's gonna work. And then I'm gonna add about 20 drops of lemon essential oil because I like that for the kitchen. But you do not have to have the essential oils, but they do add to the cleaning properties. And we really love the scent of the lemon. So just about 20 drops. I don't really measure any of this stuff too much normally. Just half and half on the water and vinegar. And then your little bit of soap. And you have got a beautiful cleaning solution here. So you can get your house nice and clean and you don't have to worry about spending all that money on the stuff at the store. There's no chemicals, it's all natural. When you're done cleaning up with your rag, I just give it a little squeeze when I pull it out and then it smells nice and lemony. And we use these all over the house, the furniture, on the appliances, kitchen, bathroom, works wonderfully. And once you're all done cleaning, you can just take this, toss it in the laundry, and reuse it. Put it back in the jug. Um, I, I squeeze it out and there's usually a little bit left in the bottom and then add more rags to it and just keep reusing it until it's all gone and then refill it again with more solution. So it's really simple and easy to do, super affordable. This literally costs pennies compared to buying all those disinfectant cleaning cloths. So this is a much better option for us and we really love it. Keeps the house nice and clean, smells good, and I don't have to spend all that money. So if you have all this stuff in your house, you can put this together in just minutes and you will be done. Um, I'll put links in the description if you can't find these products locally. Um, just they're pretty easy to find and any old rag will do, washcloths, flannel, microfiber cloths, whatever you like to use. And you can just keep rewashing them and reusing them over and over and over. And we are loving it. And that's it for today. I hope this video is helpful for you guys. Hope it saves you some money. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.